Did you watch Brittany's video about habit tracking? Let me show you what I did inspired by her video and then explain you how I did it. Let's go to the computer. Check this, we have this widget. It's called, how did I do yesterday? It is empty. Now I'm going to this notebook, habit tracker, and let's get yesterday's note. And I'm adding one, two, three, four, and five. Let's go back to the home screen. And there's a note here now. Let's go to that note again. Yesterday, I'm going to remove run, back to home, no more note. And finally, instead of run, let's add walk, go back to home, and there is a note. It's a pretty useful widget because I can instantly know how did I do yesterday, and it's easier than you think to create. Let me show you. The first tag in the system is habits. It's the parent tag. I'm moving it to the shortcuts to make our lives easier. Now all I have to do is right click and create the sub tags. Walk, run, read. We also need a notebook that I named habit tracker and we are also adding it to the shortcuts. Now let me show you how easy it is to create a day and add the tags. All I have to do is go to the habit tracker, create a new note. You'll soon understand why I'm using the weekday. Now we have at least two options. Let's say I just finished reading. All I have to do is drag the tag here, or let's say I finished a run. I can also write the tag here and select it. The notes have to be ordered by creation date, the newest on the top of the list. This other setting is optional, but I think it makes the list better to work with. So let's change this to side list. And now we have an actual list. Next, right click on this bar to use creation date, tags, remove created by and remove size. Let's say I want to know how many times I read last week. Select read. This will show us all the notes with the tag read, but we want to know last week. So all we have to do is go to create, custom, and now let's select the 20th until the 26th yesterday. Here we have it. And you can even add other tags. Let's say I want to know the days I read and also the days I drank at least two liters of water. Clicking here, we now have two notes that combine the two tags during last week. What I'm trying to do here is use Evernote to help me build habits. I don't want to create a database. I already have a watch, a scale, and so many other devices that track and log everything I do. All I want to do is track five habits. However, there's a little complication here. I can either run or walk in a given day. This will add a little more work to our system, but it's possible to do it with the Boolean search, and I'll show you how. Go to the search box, notebook, colon, habit tracker, and since it is two words, we have to use the quotation marks, space, and this is a Boolean search, tag, read, and tag, push up, and tag, water, and tag, stretch, and now we are going to tell Evernote that the fifth tag can be run or walk. Open a parenthesis and write tag run, another Boolean term, or, and finally tag walk. Close the parenthesis. So Evernote will show us notes that are in the habit tracker notebook that have the first four tags plus run or walk. Let's do it. We have two nodes with the five tags. And as you can see here, one of them has run and the other one has walk. 
But what about the how did I do yesterday widget? We have to use the created advanced search term. It works like this. If you type created colon day minus five, Evernote will show us all the notes created from five days ago until today. So if we use created column day minus one, we'll see yesterday's note and today's note. To fix it, we have to add the minus. So created day minus one, this will show all the notes from yesterday until today, space minus created colon day minus the today's note. So let's add this to our search. The order here doesn't matter, but I like to organize things. So I'm gonna add it uh, right in front of the notebook name. And here it is. Let's remove run and add walk. And here it is. Now let's remove anything. Let's remove read. And it's gone. Every time I complete the five, I'm giving myself a medal. The medals will help some notes stand out, but they are also technically useful. Let's say I want to see all the notes with the medal. I can order by title clicking here. I can go to the search box, have the habit tracker notebook selected, search. And here we have it. And we can do the same type of search using the wig day. So again, go to the search box, make sure you have habit tracker selected and Monday. Now I can see how I usually do on Mondays. I didn't show you here, but I'm also writing a small phrase, some, some observation about that day. Now, if I try the same search using the word Sunday again, there is the word Sunday inside the Tuesday note. You can fix this using another grammar term in title colon Sunday. This will force Evernote to look for the word Sunday in the notes title. Let's go. And here you have it. This was inspired by Britney's system, but I was looking for something more in line with how my brain works. It took me a week to do all the five every day, and I'll talk more about it in a future video, but I'm confident that being able to filter past days to see where I was failing and succeeding was crucial to my success. Having said all that, I have one last question. How do you ever know? How would you do it? Thanks for watching. See you soon.